Well, it's not his to offer, but it was a very flattering comment, and I'm... No, I'm... I'm, I'm as you can hear, it's quite busy. Um, no, listen, I'm very flattered by what uh, Mr Trump has had to say. Um, it's interesting, isn't it? He's from the world of business, and in business, people work on trust, not a commodity that you see much of in politics. Are you going to be the third man between Theresa May on the one hand and Donald Trump on the other? Uh, this is entirely up to the British government. I mean, if they assess that I could be of some value, uh, and that perhaps I can build some bridges between Mr. Trump and indeed many, you know, members of his team who I know well. If, if they think that's in the national interest, then I can do something constructive. But it's, the ball is in their court, and not in mine. Return, oh, I never ask for very much. Knighthood? No, no, no. I just want to be helpful. You know, we've, we voted for Brexit, America's voted for Trump, we've got a Europhile going on January the 20th into the Oval Office. That is a fantastic opportunity for our country uh, in terms of business, in terms of jobs, and in terms of our renegotiation with the European Union. We've got a fantastic opportunity here. I very much hope we take it.